Hey, and welcome back to Star Wars 101. Today, I'm going to be reading you guys a very interesting excerpt from the book, The Star Wars Archives, Episodes 4 through 6, 1977 through 1983. But before we start, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below telling us what you think. Now let's dive in. We're going to start on page 213 with the Star Wars sequel first draft script, February 23rd, 1978 into unknown dangers. On February 21st, 1978, Lee Brackett delivered the first draft script of Star Wars sequel. The manuscript had her handwritten annotations, so a clean script was retyped, dated February 23rd, and ran to 132 pages. It is faithful to the shape of the treatment. First, they go into Leia and Han Solo's story, but we're going to skip that for now and save that for a later video. We're going to go straight to Luke's story. The scenes of Luke's Jedi training on the Bog Planet sketch the paradox of his gift. That what makes him outstanding also attracts the dark side of the Force. Minch. Luke, you're in greater danger than I realized. Even untrained, you're far more powerful than I. Ben Kenobi startles Luke by appearing in ghostly form. Luke, Darth Vader didn't kill you. Ben, it was my time to move on. Luke. To move on where? Ben. To a different part of the universe. It's all one, if you know the way. Or rather, if you understand the laws that govern the way. One day you will. Luke, I've brought someone with me. Another half-ghostly form emerges from the mists. A tall, fine-looking man who approaches Luke slowly. Ben. Your father. Luke. My father. Even with his newfound maturity, Luke finds this an awesome, not to say shattering, moment. They look at each other. Skywalker. You've grown well, Luke. I'm proud of you. Luke, not knowing what to say, says nothing. Did your uncle ever speak to you about your sister? Luke. My sister? I have a sister? But why didn't Uncle Owen... Skywalker. It was my request. When I saw the Empire closing in, I sent you both away for your own safety far apart from each other. Luke. Where is she? What's her name? Skywalker. If I were to tell you, Darth Vader could get that information from your mind and use her as a hostage. Not yet, Luke. When it's time. He looks gravely at his son. Luke. Will you take from me the oath of a Jedi Knight? Slowly, proudly, Luke draws his lightsaber and activates it, bringing it to the salute. Skywalker does the same. Ben and Minch also raise their sabers, standing by as witnesses. Skywalker. I, Luke Skywalker. Luke repeats after him at suitable intervals. Do swear on my honor and on the faith of the Brotherhood of Knights to use the Force only for good, turning always from the dark side, to dedicate my life to the cause of freedom and justice. If I should fail of this vow, my life shall be forfeit, here and hereafter. The four sabers touch, a kind of ceremonial amen. Skywalker, that is the only armor I can give you, son. The rest is yours to do. The balance of her script is given over to the climactic battle on Cloud City between Vader and Luke. Luke, fighting to clear his mind of temptation, cleverly deactivates his sword at the decisive moment. Vader, swinging a death blow, topples, momentarily off balance, owing to the unexpected ruse and the lack of opposition to his blade while Luke dives to his escape. He clings to a spar, leaping aboard as the Millennium Falcon swoops past and is reunited with Leia, Han, Chewbacca, R2-D2, and C-3PO. He tells them of his battle with Darth Vader. Luke, I almost beat him, but the wrong way. The more I was winning, the more I was losing. I was so full of hate and rage and the desire for revenge. I was using the dark side of the Force without even realizing it, and he was making me destroy myself. Leia, but you didn't. Luke, not quite. I've got an awful lot to learn yet. Brackett's draft concludes on Bespin Kalietta, an extremely beautiful, jewel-like planet where the rebels have taken refuge. Leia and Luke watch from a garden balcony under brilliant moons alongside R2-D2, C-3PO, and their new friend Lando as Han and Chewbacca pilot their falcon into unknown dangers. George Lucas, Tragically, Lee died right after completing the first draft. 
The script was unworkable. It wasn't what I wanted, so I had to write a whole new script. And that's where it ends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I did reading that part of the book. It was very interesting to find that script and see what we could have possibly gotten. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. With all that said, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.